The Minister of Transportation, Mr. Moazo Sambo, is the second guest to feature in the second edition of the PMB Scorecard 2015 to 2023 series, launched in October to showcase the achievement of the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. The Minister of Information, Mr. Lai Mohammed, who is the host, begins the conversation with an address on how the ruling All Progressives Congress plans to campaign for the 2023 general elections. The opposition is quick to point to some economic indices like the Naira exchange rate and inflation. But the truth is that if they were the ones confronted with having to fight a once in a century pandemic, two economic recessions and low oil prices, Nigeria would have had no economy to even talk about. Gentlemen, we have a lot of achievements to highlight and campaign with. Next is the Minister of Transportation, who gives the scorecard of his ministry, cutting across the rail infrastructure, inland waterways, and the development of ports, including the Lakey Deep Sea Port, which he says will commence operation before the end of the year. The Buhari administration also considered and approved the development of the Badagri Deep Sea Port which upon completion would have about two and a half kilometers of key length container terminal, uh, half a kilometer key length of break bulk terminal, 360 meters key length of OSB terminal, and a minimum 18 meter draft. It is also expected to generate 250,000 direct jobs. On March the 28th this year, scores of armed men attacked a train along the Abuja Kaduna rail line, killing at least eight passengers and abducting over 100 others. The development forced an Hydro and Railway Corporation to suspend train services on the Abuja Kaduna route as security agencies and the government worked to secure the release of the kidnapped victims from captivity. A month ago, the last part of 23 of the kidnapped victims were released, following which the Minister of Transportation says services on the Abuja Kaduna train line will now resume. Lessons have been learned, and these lessons will be put into place. What are the lessons? Safety and security, surveillance, constant monitoring. 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 12 months a year, all round clock. The minister should be able to sit in his office and look at the rail corridor and see what is happening there. The president should be able to do that. The director general of the SSS should be able to do that and so on and all other security agencies. These are the measures we have put in place. And this month of November, we shall resume that service. No specific date is given for the resumption, and as Channel Television pressed for more details, the ministers of information and that of transportation react this way. Ah. From which, from which uh, media? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What date in November uh, specifically is the Abuja train service expected to be? Yeah. Okay. I have answered the question inside, my brother. And I think you are the same person who asked. The Abuja Kaduna train service would resume in uh, in, in in November. Would like to know specifically what. What date in November? Here the award. <laughs> I don't tell you the award. Although the federal government assures of safety of passengers, it's not certain what the patronage by Nigerians will look like when the Abuja Kaduna train services resume. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.